Uh, this is one of the first models, for those of you know who know the VX1000. And I usually typically would do a piece of camera like this, say, okay, I'm here, and then I typically then come over this way and say, look at my hand here, as I'm talking to you from here. Um, what's the best thing so far? This presentation. Thank you. <laughs> he is the recipient of three major international awards in the last 16 months. From the US, for his site, viewmagazine.tv, described as the future of the web. The Baton Award for Innovation in Journalism, a competition which attracts the creme of international news brands such as Time, The New York Times, and MSNBC. The Baton Awards really differ from other online media awards. They really reward efforts that try to engage citizens very actively in public issues, but it's new ideas that can be replicated by other news organizations and that have some kind of public impact or the potential of public impact. I think Adrian Holovati is a real media giraffe. I would apply that to yourself as well um, in terms of thinking how to take being one person and having a vision of what you can do with the tools that are out there uh, to provide a public service for the community. From Berlin, the International Video Journalism Award for an independent film for his feature, Eight Days, which documents how he trained Britain's first newspaper journalists to become video TV journalists in eight days. What makes this piece remarkable is its unique sound and visual montage. This is an exemplary documentary, but rigorously and fully exploits the potential of artistic video journalism. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks entertainment is entertainment and makes networks a lot of money. And historically, news doesn't. And from the American Press Institute for the Global Media Summit, We Media at the BBC in London and Reuters. His work has included the BBC World Service and BBC Newsnight, Channel 4 News and ABC News South Africa, working often on international assignments. I've worked with David over a number of years, both in his capacity as a freelance producer here at Channel 4 News and on various media events. And I've always been struck by the fact that he's a, an original self-starter. He approaches work in a very thorough and uh, professional way. For instance, South Africa in the early 90s, he made his critically acclaimed BBC programme, First Time Photos, the only non-South African programme played on the SABC during its election. He was going to vote for. Oi, I wish you hadn't asked me that question. No. Um, but the reason I'm not good, <laughs> this is terrible. Here's a snapshot of other programs, creating interactive features, and then NATO war games. Behind me are refu evacuees about to mount. That man over there will not let us do our duty. Welcome to Channel One, folks, a brand new channel for London. It's fun. When the news happens in London, we'll be there. I've been involved in the web since the early 90s, when newspapers like The Times were just launching. In five years' time, we'll be swamped by the internet. The internet would have grown up, left our bedrooms in internet cafes, and occupied public spaces, a bit like this. Uh, we think that there's a way to empower everyone to participate on the web and get to decide what's important for them and for their community. One comes to my past reportage. I can remember way back when, young people have always been an issue. You were afraid young people would leave the BBC. Well, younger, younger uh, uh, audience groups are the ones who are already. But it's in new media and video journalism and digital TV that David has attracted wide attention. Create VJs from your staff. If you can write, you can be a VJ. That's my belief. Combine video journalism with netristic link building. You know, Jakob Nielsen, what a great guy. Link rich text, etc., etc., so we can donate up your video and actually meta tag it so it works with your links. You'll get very high ratings within Google. This has led to invitations to speak in New York, San Antonio, Flash on the Beach, a gathering of some of the world's best designers. Question Can anyone tell me this? Photo here. How do you think the photographer got this picture? <laughs> do I hate you? Digital Hollywood and the Frontline Club with CNN's Christiane Amanpour. 
Impossible is nothing, says David, in a shared knowledge economy. You're so intense and so colourful in your presentation. It's fast-paced, very heat. Hello, I'm Riz Khan. I hope you're going to enjoy the work that David and I are doing. Digital is where it's going. Look forward to seeing you. Does anyone have any questions? I just want to see more good work.